Hey guys, just a quick note at the top of the video. I have commissions open. Check out the link in the description or send me an email at magicalgirlartist at gmail.com for more info. Okay, on with the show. Bye! <laughs>Hi, howdy, and welcome to 2023. It is unscripted regs here again. I did not feel like writing a script for this one, so you guys just get to live with the way I talk. Lucky you. Uh, the last couple of years I have done a New Year's video talking about my goals for the last year and whether or not I achieved them, um, you know, stuff that I've done art-wise, uh, good things and bad things that have happened to me in the last year, and setting some goals for the coming year. Uh, and I'm doing that again this year. The first time I did it, it was over um, a time lapse of my first art of the year. Uh, last year I was making new channel art. Uh, I don't need to make new channel art again this year. I already made channel art. I'm good. But uh, so I decided this year I was going to do my first art of the year again. Um, it is not a redraw of the same first art of the year that I did two years ago. Um, it's going to be a fun surprise! I'm sure you'll figure out what I'm doing at some point in the video. Uh, it's something that I've been thinking about doing for a while, and it's uh, something that I've been thinking about trying to sell as a print for a while, actually. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, anyways, let's get into the brag and drag, and um, yeah, let's get started. So we'll start with the brag and drag section, which is basically just me talking about, like, stuff that I was happy with last year or stuff that I was not happy with last year. Uh, may or may not be related to art. This is more of a, this is, some, some of it is art related, some of it is life update related. Eh, you know. Um, okay, so the, for brags and stuff, I have a bunch of notes here, so if you hear me, like, then that's what that is. <laughs> um, okay, so... A few things that I uh, that I did last year that I had a good time with. Uh, I did Art Fight. Um, that was really fun. It was my second time doing Art Fight. I had set a goal for myself of doing one picture for every day for the entire month of, uh, of July. Uh, I didn't end up doing that because I injured my shoulder partway through. Um, I don't think it was related to the art, although it could have been. I don't. I definitely wasn't stretching as much as I should have. But I was also, like, when I wasn't drawing for several days, I was ironing ribbon in half for a sewing project I was working on that I also didn't finish. Um, so I injured my shoulder and was doing that, and then I went on vacation, and I didn't end up doing that. But I did still do a bunch of pictures, and um, some of them I'm quite happy with. I'll put some up on the screen somewhere. I don't know. But I had a good time with it. I really like doing Art Fight. Uh, I'm excited to do it again next year. Um, so that was cool. Um, I also went to a convention for the first time in several years. I don't think I'd even been... I think the last convention I went to pre-COVID was Con Bravo 2019. Um, and like even then I was like I was going to like one or may one maybe two conventions a year if I went to Anime North. Um, so it was nice to go to a convention. It was my first time going to a con by myself, which was, you know, I, I, I wish I'd had somebody with me, but uh, also it was nice to um, be beholden to my own schedule and no one else's, which meant it's like, oh yeah, I can stay out as late as I want. I can go back as early as I want. I can, whatever, it was great. Um, I can just like wander around for hours, just rules. <laughs> um, it was really, it was really fun. I did a whole video about my experiences at Pretty Heroes this year. Um, I'll link that somewhere. But it was really fun. Um, if you live in Canada, anywhere in the vague vicinity of Toronto, and you're interested in magical girls and stuff, go to Pretty Heroes next year. Uh, it's, it's fun. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> um, what else did I do this year? Uh, oh, I was nominated for the Fan Curies. Um, I didn't win anything, but I was nominated, which was amazing. Um, fan, the Fan Curies is a, a community-run awards show for the Pretty Cure fan series community. It's very, it's very cool. I think it's neat that they have their own little awards show and everything. And so I got nominated for a couple of categories. Um, 
including best uh, best item design and best logo. And I think best ser series that you most want to make a fan cure for, which was very sweet. And I have no idea who nominated me, but it was very sweet and I was very happy to be included. <laughs> Especially since I am not super active in the community. I'm mostly just there to be like, hey, I think these are cool. Yeah, uh, so that was cool. Um, I also did some experimenting with my art this year. Um, most recently, I was experimenting with the uh, oil paint tools in Clip Studio Paint. Um, I only really did the one picture with them, but I think it turned out pretty, pretty all right. Uh, as well as with, uh, I have a whole bunch of Tombow uh, watercolor markers that I've been like slowly accumulating over the years. And I, you know, sat down and did some experimentation with that. I have a video about that coming out at some point. I, it's not, it's not ready yet. It's not cooperating is the problem. I've been having so many technical difficulties with that stupid video. It should have been out like a month and a half ago, <laughs> but it's not working. Um, anyway. So I, you know, I did some experimentation, which has been fun. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, I continued working on the Precure Watching series. Uh, I only put out two videos for that this year, but it, you know, it's better than zero. Um, and uh, I just started the series for my D&D Magical Girls, which has been uh, surprisingly well received, honestly, considering it's just videos of me talking about my OCs for <laughs> like 20 minutes or whatever. Um, so that's been, that's been good. I've been having a good time with that. Um, I haven't, okay. So one of the things I wrote down here was quit Twitter. <laughs> I didn't, I haven't like deleted my accounts or anything. I have two accounts on Twitter. I have my, my like main account and my art account and I haven't deleted either of them, but I have stopped using Twitter and it doesn't necessarily have to do with everything that's going down on Twitter right now, but that certainly helped inform my decision. I I don't use Twitter. I, I don't, I've never, Twitter has never been my social media of choice. And I, I frankly, I'm sick of trying to make it work for me. I don't get it. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm done with it. I'm so done. So I've, I've quit Twitter. I haven't deleted my accounts or anything. I'm not sure if I'm going to but I've removed the app from my phone. I've stopped checking it. I just, I don't care. <laughs> I'm done. I, I think I'll probably log back in at some point to check out like various artists and like accounts and stuff that I follow to see if they have other social media that I can follow them on, but I'm done using Twitter. I, I, I quit, I'm done. <laughs> and uh, the last big thing that was uh, pretty good for me was I uh, self-diagnosed myself uh, that's how self-diagnosis works with uh, with autism. Um, I finally took the RADS R test, which is something that I've been meaning to do for years, and um, scored pretty fucking high on it. Honestly, uh, oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the more I think about it, and the more I look back on like my answers and look at like how I act in my day-to-day -day life and how I how I think and how I talk to people and so on the more I'm just like oh yeah oh yeah I'm autistic as shit how did it take me this long to figure that out <laughs> it's so yeah and, and it's just like oh why are you putting that on the brag thing and it's just like well it doesn't really belong in drag first of all um but I don't really know where to put it uh <laughs> But it is, it's a good thing to have that at the, at the very least at the back of my head. Like, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to pursue like a professional diagnosis or whatever. It's just, I, I'm not, I don't, like I personally, I don't need like accommodations or anything like that for my autism. Um, it's just nice to know that it's there. It's nice to, for me to be able to understand this is why. I behave this way, this is why I think this way, this is why I act this way. It's really helpful for me just to just to know. So that's why it's on the that's why it's on the brag list. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those were the those were the major good things that happened to me in 2022. Okay, so I only have two things written down for the drag section. Um, 
the first is that I didn't do NaNoWriMo this year. Um, in either months, like I didn't do Camp NaNo, I didn't do regular NaNo. It just didn't work out for me this year. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't get into the swing of things. I didn't even start. I just couldn't get into the swing of writing and July was not a good month for me because I was doing Art Fight. Um, and November was not a good month for me because I, uh, I work retail now and November through December is extremely busy. So I was working a lot. Um, but the, uh, the other, that, so, that, you know, whatever, that, that one's like, eh, whatever, I didn't do nano, like, I was looking forward to doing, but whatever, it doesn't matter. The other thing, the other big drag, this is, this is kind of the big one, this is why there's only two things, because it's like, not a lot of bad things happened to me, but the bad thing that did happen was really big. I got laid off. Uh, you'll notice earlier that I mentioned working retail. Yeah, I, I mentioned last year, in, in last year's New Year's video, that, um, in June of 2021, uh, they sat us all down and told us that they were going to be getting rid of the school library, uh, elementary school library position entirely, just board wide, just getting rid of the whole thing. Um, and because of that, I don't have any other qualifications. I don't have anything else that I can do. I don't have, I don't have my EA qualifications like you need to go just you need to go to school for like two years specifically to become an EA I, I didn't do that uh that and that's the thing right is this board a lot of the people who especially the older people who were doing this job came to it from other positions um there are a lot of people who came to doing this job from being an EA um I'm not one of those people I have a library and information technician diploma which is the thing that you're supposed to have in order for, to be doing this job. <laughs> um, but you know, like 20 years ago or whatever, the board was like, yeah, we will, you know, provide training for people to do this position. Um, and they won't do that now. They wouldn't like pay for me to go to school to learn how to be an EAA or a secretary or anything like that. They wouldn't Read, they wouldn't pay to retrain me, um, and I don't have any other qualifications, so I ended up getting laid off. And I think I was one of the only people who did end up getting laid off. I think everybody else either was able to uh, pick up a different position, or retire, or find a new job. Um, and that, that's just because, like, by the time they told us that this was happening, last June, there were only, like, seven or eight of us left. By the time they told me I was getting laid off this June, uh, June 2022. I think there were like maybe four. <laughs> Everyone was just like jumping ship because it's awful. And the thing is I've been trying to, I had been trying to jump ship for years. I have been trying to get a job with my local public library for years because I was so fed up with the way that our job was being treated that I was being treated at my old job, and it was awful. Um, but I haven't been able to get, a I barely get interviews half the time, and it's just like, please. Like, I don't even think they look at my resume anymore. Like, I send my resume to the local public library and I hear nothing. Like, it used to be like, I would hear, I would hear back the next day, just like, yep, we're, um, thanks for, thanks for your resume and whatever. I don't even get that anymore. I think they just see my name and go, oh god, it's her again. Um, and so that's been, that's been really, really frustrating. Um, I did get a job at a retail clothing store, um, at the, at my local mall. Um, so like, it's not like I'm totally jobless, but like, going into January is gonna suck because, you know, I've been working a lot through like November, December, this week, uh, the first week of January and the second week of January, I have three shifts each. <laughs> and that's a lot. Like, a lot of people aren't getting that. So, yeah, that's not going to be great. Um, by the way, a uh, friendly reminder that I do have commissions open and would love to draw for you for money. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, that's kind of the big thing right now is like, yeah, not a lot of bad stuff happened to me in 2022. But the, the one big thing 
that did have bad that excuse me the one bad thing that did happen to me was really bad <laughs> it was it was quite bad and i'm still i'm still really upset about it um i could rant about it for hours but i will spare you <laughs> no one needs to hear about that um instead let's move on to the part where we talk about resolutions So last year was a bad year for my resolutions. Um, I said a whole bunch. I, I was like, okay, I want to try posting art every week, uh, just like a work in progress. We're going to do that on, on Wednesdays. It's going to be work in progress Wednesdays. And I dropped that fairly early in the year. Um, mostly just because I kept forgetting, you know? Like that was the, the thing with the, um, my, my goal for posting every week the year previous meant that I could just do it whenever, but half the time I would just straight up forget, oh yeah, it's Wednesday, and like not post anything. <laughs> so that didn't work very well. Um, I also tried to do uh, two videos every month, which I dropped pretty quickly. I don't even know, I think I might have done that for like one month, maybe two, and then I stopped doing it. Um, I also wanted to stream more regularly, and this one was not my fault. Uh, <laughs> My computer does not like streaming. It doesn't like being like rec connected to the internet and recording things. It does not like that. Um, like it doesn't like it when I'm on voice calls. It doesn't like it when I'm on video calls. Um, it doesn't like it when I try to stream. It doesn't matter what I am streaming. It does not like it. Um, so that's a that's an issue. I believe it's an issue with my computer. I don't know if I would be able to stream if I tried connecting my tablet and downloading like MetaBank or something to my laptop. If that would work. If it's just my computer is garbage. <laughs> but I don't I don't know. I'm not sure how to go about trying to fix that. Um, but so that one wasn't my fault because that was a, that was a technical logical, technical logical, oh boy, that was a technological problem. Um, and not my fault. Uh, I also wanted to finish Yohoho -Ho Pirate Pretty Cure, which is my Precure fan series, and draw some more for it. I did draw some more for it. I drew, uh, I, I updated my logo, uh, which is what got nominated for the fan curies, tee hee. Uh, and I drew, um, I drew a cover um for it at one point like i drew like a poster sort of thing which was fun um i also drew some red carpet art for the fan curies which was cool but um i didn't end up finishing writing it i didn't i don't i started to rewrite it at one point i didn't get very far i i want to rewrite it like the stuff that i had written down was fine but like I don't know. I, I have some issues with the formatting of how I was doing it because I was trying to do it the way I, when I was first starting to write it. The way I was doing it was like one chapter is one episode of an anime and there were going to be like 50 chapters and it's just like that's that's so much. I don't need to do that. There's no reason to do that. You could it, you're writing it as a fan fiction. You can write it like a fucking novel. So I'm completely revamping it. It's going to be a while before that ever sees the light of day. Um, so I didn't finish it, but I did draw some more art for it. Uh, and I also was starting to learn how to use RenPy. Um, I'm still continuing to learn how to use RenPy. I think I'm starting to get a little bit more proficient with it. It's a, it's a complex program, especially if you don't know anything about, like, Python programming language or programming in general. Um, but I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Um, I have some ideas for stuff that I want to do with it. Um, fairly simple little, like, visual novel. St there's some, some that are, like, fairly simple little visual novel style things, and some that is just like, what if it was also a farming sim, and it's just like, how the fuck are you gonna program that? You don't know shit about programming. What are you doing? So that's, so that's where I'm at right now with all, with all that. Um, most of last year's resolutions, uh, didn't really end up materializing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> last year, I tried to keep my goals, like, very specific and not have too many of them and this year i've said fuck it we ball um i don't care whatever uh we're just we're just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what i can do um so the big one this year is i want to find a different shading style and this is something that i've been trying to figure out for a long time 
I don't really like the shading style that I was doing before my current one. Um, and I, the one I'm doing right now, like I don't necessarily mind it. I think it looks fine for the most part, but it takes a really, really long time and it's very inconvenient and it's a pain in the ass. And yeah, I have a lot of issues with it. I want to try and find a shading style that like works for me, that looks nice and the fucking I like, uh, and that I can do not like insanely quickly or anything like that. Like shading takes a while and that's just the, that's just the nature of the beast. But like that takes less time than the one I'm using right now because the one I'm using right now isn't working. I also want to work, get better at doing highlights, especially in hair. That's something that I've always struggled with. So that's, that's kind of the big one is I want to, I want to practice more shading. I want to work on that more. Um, I also want to table at a con for the first time. Um, if you watched my Pretty Heroes vlog, uh, I mentioned it at the very end, but I want to table at Pretty Heroes. I want to have a table at the convention and I've decided that I want that first convention to be Pretty Heroes. Um, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite excited. I've been working on some stuff for it. Um, I'll probably do a vlog at some point to like show what I've been working on and so on. Once I've got more to show, honestly, I have some stuff to show, but not like tons. So we'll, we'll get there. Uh, I also, let's see. Um, I have written down here that I want to try doing work in progress Wednesdays again. I don't think I'm going to do that. That's, it was, it, it was well-intentioned, but it, it doesn't work for me. So I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. I would like to post art once a week again, but I'm not going to hold myself to a specific day. Um, so I just have to make sure that I post something every week, whatever, whether that's a work in progress or a finished piece or whatever, I'm going to try posting art every week. I won't be posting it to Twitter because I quit there, but uh, I will be posting to uh, hopefully Tumblr, Instagram, um, and Pillow Fort. I think you can post stuff on Kofi, Kofi, whatever as well. So we'll, uh, we'll, so we'll see about that. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll, we'll look into that. But, uh, at the very least, Tumblr, Instagram, and Pillow Fort, I'm going to be posting more regularly on. So, you know, follow me on one of those places if you want to, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I also would, I would like to try and do two videos a month again. Um, I'm thinking this time I'm going to try doing one that's like one of my like full script videos or even non-scripted like this one. Um, I have some like vlog ideas and things um, that I'd like to do. Like basically one with a voiceover and one of the ones that are like the short time-lapse that I record with Clip Studio Paint's time-lapse feature and upload that as like a short video with music. So eh, that's that's the plan is we're gonna try We're gonna try that and see how that goes. Um, that takes, it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm trying to do two videos a month, but the, having one of them be like, you know, just a short little time lapse of just whatever I've been drawing lately. Uh, <laughs> that helps. I think that helps take some of the pressure off there. Um, let's see. What else do I want to do? Um, more vlogs. Yeah. Uh, more magical girl let's plays. Obviously I want to finish playing, um, magical warrior diamond heart. Um, I'm not sure how frequently that one will be uploaded, but I want to finish playing that. I also want to play, um, oh, I forget what it's called. It's called like Magical Apprentice or something like that. And it's a free game on Steam. Um, I'd like to play that at some point. Um, again, we'll see how that goes. I think the lock and key, like the full game of lock and key, which I did the let's play for the demo of, I think that's supposed to come out sometime this year. So we'll see. That should be fun. I want to do at least uh, at least two Precure watching videos. I'm hoping for three, but I want to do at least two. I don't know if I'll get to three because the, um, we're right now we're at, uh, we just finished Heart Catch. So next is Sweet. And then after Sweet is Smile and Doki Doki. And those two are going to be, I think, a fair bit longer. So I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. Um... But, uh, so we'd, I'd like to do at least two. So I'd like to get at least Sweet and Smile done this year. If I can also get Doki Doki done, that would be great. 
I have other ideas, but uh, anyway, so we're working on, gonna work on those. I wanna get those done. Uh, and I'd also like to do the other two D&D uh, &D Magical Girl videos. Right now I've got uh, Divine Casters and Specialty Classes left to do. Possibly after that I could also do stuff with like villains in the series or, you know, side characters, stuff like that. I have some thoughts. Um, and uh, I'd like to, at some point, I, there, I have some ideas for like some comic zines that I could make that I could sell. That would be fun. Um, I also want to make a full deck for one of my brother and my uh, Sentinel Comics OCs. Um, those ones are more tangential. Those ones are more like, hey, if I get to them, I get to them. I'm not really worried about them though. Um, and I also want to revamp my artwork space. That's something that I'm actively working on right now. That might be a vlog sometime this month or next month or something is uh, rearranging my whole fucking room so that I can uh, have a, a different artwork space. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm, I'm excited. I've, I've been slowly accumulating things in order to do that. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the, those are my goals for 2023. We'll see how many of them I do. We'll see how many of them I don't. Like I say, fuck it, we ball. Let's, let's fucking go, baby. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this one. Um, how did you like the, uh, the art? I, I kind of threw in the towel at the last minute. I was like, fuck it. I don't want to finish this. Uh, I'm going to finish it at some point. Like once I've figured out some more stuff with the shading and so on, I'm going to finish it. But, uh, yeah. Again, this is something that I've had an idea for for a while and just decided, fuck it, we're gonna do it this year. Um, so it's been it's been fun, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do you have any New Year's resolutions that you're trying to work on this year? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any tips on learning how to shade or anything like that, like, also let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for stuff that you'd like to see me do this year. Let me know in the comments. Like, comments below if you want to say anything, I guess. Um, but yeah. Have a, have a good one. Uh, I hope 2022... 2023. Oh my god. I hope 2023 is a better year for us all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!